You're watching The Founder and today I have uh, two new guests with me. This is Himali and Alison from Ape and Collab. How are you guys doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. And uh, tell me all about y'all and of course the company. So we have two startups. Mm -hmm. One is called Ape and the second is Collab. Ape is a pre-loved ecosystem that we're creating mm -hmm. and we're raising awareness about circular consumption. Okay. Collab is? So Collab is it formed from Ape. We all collaborate on this. And our, our other partner, Shivain, who is not here with us today. Um, but basically, we're a social media uh, marketing company. We focus on um, social media strategy and content creation. And we basically want to help businesses build their brands online. Because okay. we realize businesses, business owners don't have time to focus on that. So we want to take that off them and hopefully make them be successful to it. Awesome. So how long have you guys had this for? Our pay is about nine months okay. only and collab is two and a half months. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very fresh in yeah. startups. Yeah. How has it been so far? Exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we have nothing to complain about. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful because the trajectory for both startups has been insane mm -hmm. and it's great. Okay, so how uh, are you guys like friends? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Initially, I thought you were related, but <laughs> <laughs> she's my adopted, adopted sister as well. <laughs> okay, so what really gave you this idea to start up Ape and Collab? So I lived in uh, abroad for a long, long time, and when I came back, I noticed that there was some a gap in the market. Abroad, you can sell your stuff on eBay, on Amazon. There's so many Etsy, there's so many options. Here, we don't have options. Plus, there's stigmas and taboos associated with it. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, OK, we have so much wastage going on. Let's create something. Let's make it cool and sexy so people actually see, oh, this is something we should be doing. We should become conscious consumers. OK, OK. So tell me about Ape and Collab. So Ape was created to raise awareness about circular consumption and also to provide a pre-loved um, platform for people to sell their items and also buy pre-loved items okay. from. Okay, so in in uh, terms of items, what kind of items do you sell and buy? Anything and everything. Okay. So we've launched Ape Women, Ape Men and Ape Kids so far and we're going to launch Ape Lux soon as well for higher-end items. Interesting. And what about Collab? So Collab is a social media marketing company that focuses on social media strategy, content creation, branding. And um, so we want to help businesses basically be more successful because you realize business owners don't have the time to think right. about social media strategies and things like that. So we want to take that off their hands to hopefully help them mm -hmm. through this tough time. And you guys are like in hand in hand with that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so tell me what made you think of this business and why you got into it. So one stemmed from the other. Ape, the need came because I lived abroad for 14 years. And when I came back, I realized there's a lot of wastage happening around us. And there's also stigma and taboos associated with pre-loved. Mm -hmm. Because the words thrift, vintage, it gets a bit confusing for people. But how I like to explain it to anyone is if you've grown up in a Southeast Asian household, and you have, you've worn hand-me-downs from your brother, your sister, your cousin, your whole life. Mm -hmm. So it's actually the same thing. Okay. Um, so it's we basically, it's called unpacking terminology. It's explaining to people, what does greenwashing mean? What does circular consumption mean? And just raising awareness and ex everybody gets inundated with facts. But when you bring it home to them and make it something they can relate to, they all want to do it as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what made the success of Ape like so fast. Okay. Um, and Collab came about because a lot of people were reaching out to Alison, reaching out to me, reaching out to our third partner, Shivain, saying, how have you all done this? How has this suddenly grown? Like it hit 5,000 followers in six months. Oh, wow. And it, everyone was talking about it, the brand awareness, the brand recognition had just shot up. Like we'd get stopped in places and be like, you know, the Ape girls. And we're like, yeah. Girls. Yeah. That's really cute. I mean, we actually get sent things say, saying to Himalaya and Alice and the Ape girls. The Ape girls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was cute. And basically what we realized is, Alison will explain. <laughs> so basically why we started Collab was we saw the success of Ape and we realized that all of us are, are quite good at this. And we realized a lot of people were asking personally me for advice on to help their social medias. 
and then we thought why not just get together each of us provide something that the other one doesn't have it's like we fit together okay. in a puzzle it's like a trifecta i can do something that they can't do and they certainly can do things that i don't so we fill each other's gaps and i think that's why it worked out and that's why we started together okay so you uh, alison you said it's been for like it's been around for two months right yeah. you started okay so are you generally good with social media i feel like i am because a lot of my friends and family members i used to just help them mm -hmm. and then i realized i was reading more about it and i was like this is kind of fun to do actually yeah but there was no way i could have done a company on my own yeah. it is not okay. possible for she's me she's also being really humble she has huge followings across multiple platforms <laughs> really? and she's a digital native and mm -hmm. alison's attention to detail it's let me put it frankly can be annoying <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> because she's such a perfectionist, but it's brilliant when it's for client work and social media. She spots something little that myself and the creative director Shivay and mm -hmm. are like, "Huh? We completely missed that. <laughs> How?" But it's so it just all worked out. Shivay is one of the most brilliant creative minds mm -hmm. there is. I mean, we'll give he'll tell us a concept, and we're so excited. And then what he delivers is ten times beyond our expectations. Okay. Uh, so it just. all fitted together and we yeah. we respect each other and we trust each other to have our own areas and come together and i think that's why we decided to start the second startup right. as well mm -hmm. all right so uh, about ape now how did you you know get everything together initially uh, all me <laughs> as in <laughs> money <laughs> no it's a basically i mean luckily i had alison and shivan to bounce off ideas you know in the beginning of a startup it's so important to have a trusted group that you can just bounce your ideas off and they give you the honest feedback mm -hmm. because sometimes when you ask friends they don't want to hurt you mm. so they might not tell you mm. uh so it's better to have people who are also invested in it who actually have skin in the game or like actually this won't work we need to do this and you try this um we it was kind of i had a rough framework i have my vision but we kind of figure it out as we go to be honest Okay, and what has been the most challenging part in both of your careers so far? Um for the startups? Mm -hmm. For the startups? It's because Ape is a concept and there were these stigmas and taboos to break. I think it was having to make it sexy and cool. Like mm -hmm. I remember so many people told me it would not work. It would okay. not work. Why is the reason though? because they're like oh nobody's going to want to like buy someone else's second hand or sell their items and i'm like no but i address those issues it's anonymous i've made it cool mm -hmm. i put like certain personalities like masha kumaratnam and nadia g okay have put their faces forward and said hey we believe in this this okay. is good for environment it's good for communities alison's about alison yeah. vijay manas crossed is about to come up so when you show that your peers are doing it I think psychologically people relate to it. Right. So it's easier. And even with collab because Alison is on across the platforms, she can show them her engagement rates and everything else as well like all her friends have done it. So you know someone who's actually doing it. Absolutely. I mean we were we've been telling businesses to get on TikTok because the reach on TikTok is 20% more. So, yeah, exactly. And also I think something people don't realize is Instagram has this reels functionality which was introduced Sri Lanka didn't get it due to copyright laws but the rest of the world has or majority of yeah. countries but overall Sri Lanka's engagement dropped mm -hmm. where TikTok has 20% more reach and exactly. I tested it you know how because I'm slightly older in the years than Alison <laughs> uh, and business owners tend to be as well they're quite hesitant you know for anything new we are all a bit hesitant but i showed them i put a video and it got 10000 views and 400 increase in followers in 24 hours and now i can see all the businesses getting on it right because you need that recommend they need to see it they need to see it yeah so you would say social media has been a big uh, marketing strategy for you i mean collab is about social yeah. media yeah. okay cool so um in terms of you know um of course the startups um Usually when someone think of starting up something it's basically the question that pops up is finance was finance any difficult for you guys um not as much it was more of an investment of our time time especially for collab it took a lot of time for us to gather ideas it's still a mm -hmm. lot of work but we are all willing to put in the work and we're all 100% committed it's mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. but um, that was the biggest investment for us to collab 
Awesome. And have you failed before you succeeded? Uh, with Ape, initially, yes. I tried the idea out three years ago. As a proof of concept, I, I can't say the word fail. I'd got done a proof of concept, was ready to open like a little store in my house. Uh, and then my dad got diagnosed with leukemia. So I had Sorry. to immediately shut it down. And then he passed away. So after he passed on, then I, you know, he believed in it. He was my biggest supporter. He turned up at the my proof of concept store and it just felt like I had to do it to kind of honor him. And that's why I started it again. I rebranded, renamed it and did it again. But so it's not a failure. Yeah. But I did have a pause in my journey because okay. of that. So you would say like he was a big inspiration for you as well? My whole life, everything, Aww. everything. <laughs> Both of us mm -hmm. are quite inspired yeah. by our parents, so mm -hmm. that's why yeah. we have a common understanding, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes from. even Shivain, I mean. Teaching us like work ethic and yes. why we are the way we are right now is because of them. Exactly. Yeah. And you guys are business women as well, so that's yeah. saying a lot. A lot of inspiration going and on She's here. 22 and she's my <laughs> co-founder, you know. When I was 22, <laughs> it definitely was not like this. <laughs> Shivain and I are always in awe of Alison's work ethic. Mm -hmm. It's Brilliant. <laughs> All right. So, uh, of course, when it comes to Ape, now I've actually, I maybe there's like a small community out there who does this, right? But uh, I think it's the first time I'm seeing like a website and stuff like that. You guys do it all over the website, right? No, it's purely on Instagram. Instagram, okay. Yeah, because a piece of advice I would have for a startup is suss it out. I mean, Anika Fernando from PR actually gave me this advice. She's like, do not invest in anything. Mm -hmm until there's an actual need for it. Because when I was like, oh, I can hire like someone to help me, she's like, do it yourself. And you know, I will hold that as one of the best pieces of advice I've ever got, because it's true. Yeah. When you're building a startup, you have to put in the work. Mm -hmm. You have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you can hand over little bits later. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so it's purely on Instagram because that's where the market is. That's where the need is. And that's how I can raise awareness the most. Okay. The structure with the way it's placed is the best platform for us. Okay. And how, how would uh, people get in touch with you? And you can message the page and I reply within 24 hours. Okay. And same with the social media yes. as well. All right. Cool. That's pretty cool. I think everything goes in hand in hand like yeah. quite easily, right? So obviously if it wasn't for what you guys are doing right now, what would you be doing? Uh, I was a management consultant around UK, US and Asia for like 15 years. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know, I think it happened in tandem that I left my job and Ape was kicking off as well. Okay. And honestly, yeah. So <laughs> would I be doing that now? I don't think so. Really? I think I would be pursuing this. Okay. You also I actually do have another job. <laughs> I, uh, this collab is actually my second job. Um, I export tea. Wow, at 22 as well. Yeah, I told you, which is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I export tea. I work for my father's company, Tech okay. Private Limited. So right. we export tea around and, the world. And Shivain has another full-time yeah. job as well. And a child. Of one and a one-year-old child. child. <laughs> so, Where is Shivain? Why isn't she here? So Shivain is a creative genius okay but with the creative genius silence. he also has silence yeah. okay. so we don't even ask him to come and yeah. a funny story is for a joke you if you remember ross from friends they mm -hmm. did a cutout of him so we have a printed cutout on a stick okay. of shivain it's printed and that animate <laughs> but we couldn't get it out in time <laughs> Otherwise, we would have been holding it up on behalf of him. Oh my god. Yeah. Would you I mean, say that us. was the craziest thing you have done in yep, office? So far. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay. But we also thought it would be funny. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, we are here at this beautiful location called uh, Colombo Cooperative. They're all about providing modern workspaces and mm -hmm. creative spaces for startups and companies of all sizes. Um, they have a question for you and they would like to know what community means to you and how you would build it. Community for us is actually people who truly believe in your brand and your brand values and what your offering is. Because for us, and I mean, we speak about this a lot with Collab and even Ape, I built a community around it, I feel, for you know all of us. And if someone believes in it, it's like a person. If you like a person, you automatically support them. You mm -hmm. want them to win. So community for us is brand advocates. Mm -hmm. They go out in the market and do the marketing on your behalf. They're like, this team is great. This place is great. Like it's beautiful here. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's what community means to us. That's true. And uh, you know, uh, since we are on the founder, I have a question for you. Of course, I ask every guest this. <laughs> if you ever had the opportunity to sit at dinner with someone you admired internationally or locally, who would it be? 
I think we have a common person. Okay. It's this guy called Christo, and he's the founder of The Future. Okay. He is amazing. He Shivan idolizes him. He's literally the best branding guy in the world. Mm -hmm. And he has a podcast, a video vlog, everything. Mm -hmm. You can look him up. His goal is to do this future. Uh, the thing called future is to educate one billion people oh, wow. by so that they have alternate skills in social media, in digital, all of that. So it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. True inspiration. <laughs> He's pretty young. I think he must be in his early forties. Okay. So Allison as well. I mean, it would. Getting getting talked to him would really help us yeah. both collab, so I think that would be the most beneficial thing yeah. for us. It would be we perfect. have spoken to him. We have spoken to him over On Instagram. Instagram. Oh, have yeah. You? Okay. Mm, interesting. So it's almost there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what really drives you guys? What really gets you up in the morning? Alison's phone calls. Alison's phone calls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not so like. what drives you to call her? <laughs> <laughs> when we have work to do, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'd say what drives me is I mean I'm very inspired by my father's work ethic mm -hmm. and what he has built. So I want to be exactly like him, and he always tells me you'll be better than me. Mm -hmm. So that's what drives me, and the, uh, different people inspire me. Like Shivani inspires me, Himali's work ethic inspires me. So I want to be like that. So that's what gets me up in the morning and says it's tough every day. We, we every day we have so much work. We're in the middle of the night. We're doing work, but. At the end, it's worth it mm -hmm. for us, for me I, at least. I think for me, it's because I have a nephew and a niece in the world, and I kind of want to leave something that they can go, "Hey, my aunt did that." Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <Ape. laughs> and oh God, no. <laughs> but maybe, and you know, collab. It's just I want to show them that it's, you know, you can get out there and be creative. And so I have a niece and nephew in the world, Raiden and Thea, and I kind of want to obviously leave a legacy for them. But also show them that you can step into your own power. You can use creativity to bring new things into life and add really add value. Because Ape is something I truly believe in that adds value. It's making people be conscious consumers. Exactly. Collab is actually making businesses look at their brands as people. So I, for me, it's to inspire them someday and for them. Okay. So about Ape and you know it being very eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? So normally we buy something, mm -hmm. we wear it, we keep it in our cupboard, and then we forget about it. Um, what people don't understand is, I'll give you some stats: seven billion new items are purchased annually. Consumption has gone up by two hundred percent in the last two decades. Mm -hmm. A fast fashion fashion item is only made to last seven washes. No. So can you imagine the amount of items that are being wasted? Yeah, so for me, yeah. it's just about okay, buy a quality item, use it for four five years. If it's still good, pass it on to someone else. Keep yeah. it in use as long as possible. And that can apply to anything, right? When you upgrade your TV, when you upgrade your speakers, even like your furniture, piece of art, mm -hmm. when you like redecorate, pass it on to someone else. Mm -hmm. Don't throw it away. Yeah. You know, you remind me of Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> so she had this Ooh. dress that she wore for the Grammys. Yeah. And they had bought it on mm -hmm. top of her and it was a really expensive white dress. Yeah. And then they said, okay, you can't wear it again because you've worn it once before and people have taken pictures and stuff. And she was like, no, I'm going to wear it eight times if I have to because it was expensive. <laughs> and she did. She wore it like multiple times after. It's See, a good example. No, yeah. and I think a bigger problem has happened is now people's lives are on social media, right? Yeah. You wear it once and then... Done, yeah. I mean, oh, I can't be seeing that again. Exactly. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, this is a solution to that problem. Pass it on. You can s you make money for it. Yeah. So then you can go and buy something new. Something or you can like we what we do with Ape is we actually and that's important. Uh, there's an abandoned home for 24 kids between the ages of six to 18 that Alison's family runs called oh, Amitsu. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a percentage of every sale goes to oh, them. Oh, that's amazing. So it's like okay, you can shop, but you know you're helping someone else as well. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right. So what would you say is your definition of success? Honestly, keeping Alison and Shivain happy and engaged and making our clients happy, you know, really adding value to them. Even our Ape customer, I, I really want them to be thrilled with their purchase. And then they become repeat customers. They become supporters. I think for us, it's, we really want to help other people. That's why we started Collab especially. And right. Ape, I wanted to help Colombo look at things differently. Mm -hmm. So, okay, supposing, okay, I have a dress and like I want to sell it mm -hmm. 
so anyone can get on it, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a process. And when if someone contacts me, I sell them the process because I also curate the items. I have to check them. I have to make sure. One, I'm always very honest to the people who want to sell. Based on the past trends, I can tell you what kind of thing will sell. And the customer gets to list the price they want to sell it. Right, but I, I tell them, if you list it at this, you may not sell it. So I'm very realistic. And sometimes I have to tell someone, actually, I'm not, because there's a little small 200 rupee listing fee on it. I'm very honest. And I say, look, I could easily take your money. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that's ethical or fair. Right. If there's no chance of it being sold. Okay. So I will tell the customer that. And I've done it on numerous occasions. And they're like, wow, you're honest. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. but isn't that how we all should be? Mm -hmm. I mean, collab, we have clients. We, we actually tell them. We're not the best fit for you. Right. We've had done it quite a few. Yeah. I mean, in the two months, we've done it about four or five times yeah. now. Okay. Because That's, we want to really yeah, deliver exactly. value. It's not fair otherwise, especially during times like these. Right. Okay. So uh, now there's quite a lot of people watching and, uh, you know, probably looking up to you after seeing your story <laughs> or hearing your story. Um, is there any kind of advice you can give anyone out there, new startups out there, since you yourself are startups? Um, I think one main thing co-founders is a great idea mm -hmm. honestly I, was gonna say that. I i would not be able to do this without alison and shivan you have other people to help you you know there are days anyone will feel sick even hungover sometimes uh or you just need a mental break and when you have two other people there who believe in you trust you you can play like it's a tag team yeah it yeah. just makes the journey so much easier but also rewarding because mm -hmm. we're learning from each other yeah. constantly you have it's just i don't know it's an amazing thing to have co-founders co founders all right so thank you so much guys for joining us today thank you for having yes, us yes uh, i'll definitely um check out what i have to sell now at home yeah. <laughs> and of course uh, i up my game and my social media <laughs> yeah. if you need any tips we're there yeah so there you have it uh, of course this is allison and himali from ape and collab see you next time on the founder